Today I'm reading to you from C.S. Lewis at the Breakfast Table, one of my favourite books. So favourite, it's actually falling apart. I've read it so many times. And I'm going to read you a letter written by C.S. Lewis to a friend of his who injudiciously neglected to buy the expected tickets for the opera. Sir, I have read your pathetical letter with such sentiments as it naturally suggests, and write to inform you that you need expect from me no ungenerous approach. It would be cruel if it were possible, and impossible if it were attempted, to add to the mortification which you must now be supposed to suffer. Where I cannot console, it is far from my purpose to aggravate for it is part of the complicated misery of your state that while I pity your sufferings, I cannot innocently wish them lighter. He would be no friend to your reason or your virtue who would wish to pass over so great a miscarriage in heartless frivolity or brutal insensibility. As soon as you can, pray let me know through some respectable acquaintance in what quarter of the globe you intend to sustain that irrevocable exile and perpetual disgrace to which you have condemned yourself. Do not give in to despair. Learn from this example the fatal consequences of error and hope in some humbler station and some distant land that you may yet become useful to your species. <laughs> And his friend writes in the book, he says, Later, I received a letter of forgiveness in the same vein, calculated to wither any part of me that the earlier letter had left unscathed. That's C.S. Lewis for you, one of the greatest writers ever.